Hi everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm with the Welland Public Library bringing you another grab and go activity. This week we're going to learn about armadillos. Now, armadillos are mammals just like you and me. And to be a mammal, you have to have four characteristics. One, you have to have fur or hair. Two, you have to give birth to live babies so you don't lay eggs. Three, you have uh, warm blood. And four, you feed your babies milk. And that's what makes up mammals. Now, armadillos are mammals because they have those four characteristics. However, outside of that, they're very different from you and me and all other mammals. And one of the reasons they're so different is because of their back. Uh, their back is made up of bony plates that go across their back and then that's covered with a really dense skin uh, and it feels almost leathery to the touch. Uh, and uh, in fact, if you were to translate the word armadillo uh, from Spanish, it does mean little armored one. Now you may be saying, but what about their hair or fur? I don't think that they look furry at all. On their tummies, they are very, very fluffy and furry. Uh, and their tummies uh, are the only spot where they're not actually protected from that bony armored plate. Uh, and the Aztecs used to call armadillos uh, turtled rabbits. And again, that's because they have this shell on the top, but they're so fluffy and furry on their tummies. Now, armadillos, uh, there's several different varieties of armadillos. Some of them can be quite big, including a giant armadillo. Giant armadillos get to be about 54 kilometer or kilograms in weight and 1.5 meters long. So you can think about probably the average uh, 10 uh, to 11 year old, the kids in grades four and five, you're probably the same size as a giant armadillo. Um, but the smallest armadillo is called the pink fairy armadillo. And the, the pink fairy armadillo is pink on top on its shell portion. And its stomach is really fluffy with this white or cream colored fluff. And they are so small, they're only about uh, 13 centimeters long and a few grams in weight. So they're really equivalent to the same size as chickmunks. Uh, some other types of armadillos get their names based on characteristics that they have. So one of them is called the screaming armadillo. And I'm gonna give you a second to try to figure out what would make it called the screaming armadillo. That's right, because they scream quite a bit. Uh, and then there's also uh, a lot of armadillos get called uh, based on their number of bands on their back. So there is the three banded armadillo and they're the only ones that are able to roll up into a ball where they tuck their heads and their legs and their tail all together and they become a ball. And then the predators can't really attack them because they've got that armor on the back and they've protected their weak spot, their tummy by rolling up into a ball. Nine band armadillos are able to jump quite high, but they cannot roll up into a ball. Now, armadillos eat a lot of bugs, and the way that they eat their bugs is they have great claws on their legs, their paws, and they're able to dig into tunnels where ants, including fire ants, they're able to eat those, and slugs live. And then they have a really long tongue that they can stick down into the uh, tunnels to grab their food. Armadillos live uh, in North America and South America in the warm climates of those uh, countries in those areas. So if you were in the Southern United States, say in Texas, you might see some armadillos wandering around. Um, or if you were in Mexico, Honduras, Chile, those types of countries. Um, and for our activity today, we're gonna make an armadillo using 
uh, your kit will include uh, an armadillo template and a googly eye. And you're going to need from home some glue, some scissors, as well as some pencil crayons or markers or crayons, whatever you prefer to color with. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut, or uh, I like to color before I cut any of the pieces out. So color them all in. And I suggest using different styles of shapes to imply the textures or the bands on the back of the armadillo. Then you're going to cut out your pieces and you're going to glue them. So here is mine and you can see I use sort of these rounded triangles to make the bands on the back. Uh, and then I used polka dots on its skin here and I used waves on its tails. And when you're gluing the pieces on, you have four legs. So glue one piece to the front and one piece to the back. And I use darker colors here on my back legs. And then you're going to glue on your googly eye. And then you have your own armadillo that you can play with or display somewhere, hang up on your door or whatever you would like. Now, if you'd like to learn more about armadillos or hear some fun stories that include armadillos, uh, you can check out these books, Dinosaur Cousins, Shells, Scales, and Skin, Lesser Spotted Animals, and then some fun fictional stories, including Armadillo Rodeo, and The Armadillo from Amarillo. And these books are available at the Well in Public Library. To get those books or to get your grab and go activity, just give us a call, book an appointment, and you can pick up those books. Uh, you can make an appointment at any of our three branches, including Seaway Mall, Diamond Trail Branch, or the main branch. Uh, and they all have the grab and go activity. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to give us a call or send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for joining us this week. Uh, Army wants to say goodbye, and we hope to see you again next week. Bye.